Today, we pay tribute to that guy who drives a piece of crap car that has turbo emblazoned along the side. You know, that guy who apparently operates under the belief that a flashy descriptor decal like turbo, or perhaps a bolt of lightning, will somehow distract those who see the car from recognizing that his hot rod looks like it was narrowly salvaged from a roadside fire. Turbo? Really? Yeah, I can't wait for the chance to board that rocket ship. And look, I get it if that guy didn't have a lot of cash or perhaps shoddy credit and he needed a car so he bought the car despite the ridiculous turbo decal because he just needed something to get him from point A to point B. But now that that transaction is official, a little advice. Start saving up for a paint job, Speed Racer. Seriously, don't waste your money on food, rent, or that pesky electric bill. Not until you raise enough money to rid your clunker of its adjective. As a matter of fact, just don't add a word to your car, period. That goes for sport, limited edition, shag and wagon. I'm talking nothing here. Not even if the car does resemble the word you stained it with. In fact, I would rather you have piece of crap written along the side of the vehicle. I'm a sucker for self-deprecation, not to mention honesty. Now, right now, that guy is out in the garage polishing his trusty, rusty, dented, wood shield, shattered, bluish Ford Festiva Turbo. And he's saying to himself, well, I'd rather be that guy than Magnet on the Door Dude. Well, first of all, that guy, this segment isn't called Magnet on the Door Dude. It's called that guy. Secondly, I'll have you know that Magnet on the Door Dude earns up to two customers per year by putting that magnet on his door with his phone number included that causes him to get pranked 44 times per day. Now, what's your turbo-powered eyesore gotten you? A starring role on that guy. That's what. If what I've said today has offended you in any way, there's probably a good reason for it. You're that guy.